In a country on edge, as it waits for the presidential election result, charismatic young challenger Nelson Chamisa appeared for the first time since the polls. International election observers had just expressed grave concern over what they branded the excessive use of force by the army, and the incumbent, Emerson Manangagua, had said his government was talking to Nelson Chamisa in a bid to ease tensions. Very confident. Very confident. Do you know where we're headed next? No, we are forming the next government. So. Are, you, are you speaking to Manangagua? No. He'd come to a Harare hospital to meet some of those wounded yesterday, and he offered condolences to relatives of Ishmael Khomeini, a fruit vendor shot dead by soldiers. Then it was question time. Manangagua is accusing you of inciting violence for what happened yesterday. Well, but do you believe him? If you believe Mr. Manangagua is so unfortunate and tragic, you must look at the situation. You have an armed civilian who is attacked by live ammunition. Is that normal? Even in Banana Republic, is that normal? We must be able to also caution the government. Because they are trigger happy, they are blood -faced. But is it not your responsibility to also attempt to de-escalate things now? But what is my responsibility? I don't own or command a wing of the military. This is the problem. You have soldiers who shoot indiscriminately. Mr. Manangagwa knows that he has lost this election. If he had won this election, this election would have been announced long back. But they are trying to massage the figures to try and advance a fictitious and a fallacious result. But if Manangagwa is declared the winner of the presidential I'm election glad, tonight, I'm, what will you do, sir? I'm glad you are saying if he's declared. Now, there's a difference between winning and being declared. If he's declared, <laughs> then that's a different issue. So what will you do? What will you tell your supporters to do? simply go back to the will of the people. Yes. We have won this election. Mr. Manangagwa knows it. Zambia have known it. That we have won this election. Well, there you have it. Nelson Chamisa says he's in no mood to back off or back down. He's essentially declared himself the winner of this presidential race. The countdown is now on. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission has said it will announce the presidential result within the next few hours. Opposition Command HQ has been blockaded by riot police backed by water cannon all day long. Tonight, police stormed the building, seizing what they called subversive materials and arresting 18 people, who the chief of police accused of being responsible for yesterday's violence. The streets today have been virtually empty. The military ordered civilians to disperse and go home and forced shops to close. The number killed in yesterday's army shooting spree has now risen to six. Soldiers fired randomly into crowds of opposition protesters. The former head of the army, now Zimbabwe's vice president, has denied soldiers killed anyone and blamed what he called the hooligans. I cannot speak on behalf of the army, but let me say that it is not entirely true that the protesters were not armed. They caused massive damage to property. They also caused massive damage to innocent people who were going about their own chores. Um, it is not this, at this moment that we should try and apportion blame. Let us allow investigations to be complete and the truth will then be revealed. This morning we met the family of Ishmael the fruit vendor, who Nelson Chamisa later spoke to. He was shot through the chest by a soldier and died three hours later. Ignatius saw it all. I saw him falling down. After that, uh, when I arrived from the scene, I picked a cartridge, that cartridge from, from, from live round. Did it kill him immediately? No, it didn't kill him immediately. He was uh, uh, bleeding severely, severe bleeding. Uh, then I tried to close up the, the, the wound. Then the, the, the soldier, these soldiers arrived from, from where I was with him. Then he pointed a gun again to me, saying you have to leave him. Then I left him. After leaving him, I, I just moved a few minutes, few meters again, but I was crying now. It's not good news for Zimbabwe. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not good. It's not good news for Zimbabwe, because we uh, we were innocent. In fact, he was innocent. Zimbabwe remains on tenterhooks. 
If people thought fixed or contentious elections were a thing of the past, like Mugabe, they might now be thinking again. Zimbabwe used to be called a police state. It may now have transitioned into a military state. Jonathan Miller. Well, joining me now live from Harare is Bright Matonga, former ZANU-PF spokesperson and deputy information minister under Robert Mugabe. Bright Matonga, has ZANU-PF stolen this election? Uh, ZANU-PF has won this election uh, free and square. Uh, we've got two-thirds majority in parliament. People were allowed to campaign freely without intimidations. That was the first time in 20 years, you know, where we even invited uh, international observers to come and observe the elections. It was very peaceful. It is unfortunate that uh, the process, this peaceful process, has been hijacked by the MDC alliance. They wanted to cause chaos because they wanted to join government. They didn't expect to lose by this wide margin. And I think they had to be, you know, to, you know, to respect uh, the will of the people. So... ZANU-PF has not rigged any election. It's very unfortunate that things had to go this way. They had to demonstrate, they had to use violence uh, so that there is sympathy from the international community. But they Mr. have Matonga, caused the death of a number of people, which was unnecessary. Mr. Matonga, it's not, it's not the MDC who have been killing people on the streets. It is the Zimbabwean military ordered onto the streets by ZANU-PF. You know what? If you... Uh, um, Get people to go into the streets. You declare elections when you are not the uh, Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. If you give people drugs, youth drugs, beer, you get them drunk. They, they chase the police uh, officers. They, go, they wanted to go and storm Zek uh, Command Center. That's not a nice thing. Um, Mr. Nelson Chamisa is a lawyer. Tendai Bit is a lawyer. They, very, they were very clear that they were not going to accept any result except the MDC one. And they've caused the death of these people. And it's very unfortunate. This shouldn't have gone to that level. They should have been patient enough to, you know, to wait for the results but to be But why has the be result announced. been delayed? Then you can use the legal route. The, the, the result should have come days it, ago. This is a legal... No, the, the results, um, the final results, uh, constitutionally, uh, should be announced in the, on the 4th of uh, August. That's what is in the Constitution, because ZEC has to make sure that the result that they receive from the provinces, from the districts, from every corner that, you know, they match. It's a constitutional uh, mandate, and I think we all need to wait for, for that process to take place. Are you saying it's correct to use live ammunition against crowds who are drunk? In your, in your claim? You, you know, it is very unfortunate that this shouldn't have happened. People shouldn't have died. It's a learning curve for Zimbabwe that, you know, we, we have to follow the law and uh, the government has to set up, uh, a co you know, um, a committee to investigate this. Who caused this? Why was um, the MDC, why did they encourage the youth to beat up it, the it policemen, to filmed, burn cars, Matonga. to We've destroy property, to loot, uh, you know, We've seen the soldiers opening fire on unarmed protesters. Uh, sorry. This is very unfortunate. It shouldn't have gone to this level. It is the MDC, um, Chamisa and Biti, who are to blame. They shouldn't have encouraged their supporters to go into the street and burn properties. They should have waited. You know, we don't support any use of violence. It's not good. Zimbabwe is a very fragile state at the moment. Yes. Well, who they is really have in just charge? Have waited. They're playing with people's emotions. I think... Is the military really in charge Sorry. now? You know, they, they effectively forced no, Mr. You know, Mugabe our, out. Our police Are officers, they now really in control? Our police officers... Our poli no, our police officers were deployed uh, to, uh, po you know, polling agents. The, in Harare, there were very thinly, um, very few police officers. It was the police that invited the army. And when you start um, uh, attacking, throwing stones, throwing, even firing live bullets to the, to, to the army, uh, you know, this is very unfortunate. We are not proud of this. We held a very peaceful campaign over the political parties. We didn't have to go through this process. We don't want people to die because of elections. Uh, Mr. Chamisa should hold his supporters. He should be held accountable. 
he wanted to demonstrate this was a pre-planned exercise that um, they storm ZEC offices, they, you know, they nick all the papers, they bend them down, then there's no, you know, there's no election result. But it's this now what clear, they wanted, isn't it? With the help of some foreigners, obviously. Well, well whatever the truth of the it actual is very vote, clear that it, was it is now clear that, that the MDC will not accept this result when it is announced tonight, if it is announced that, that Mr Manangagwa is elected president, because they will say this, this vote was rigged. So how do you go forward now? We are very surprised that uh, Mr. Chamisa is not contesting the results of the members of parliament because it's a, he's a very selfish, he's a bad loser. He, he was he's desperate wanted to be the president of Zimbabwe. He, he, he obviously, he miscalculated um, he, you know, his campaign. He's a dictator. He, you know, he, he attacked women. He attacked his own party. He's, he's not the legitimate leader of the MDCT. He grabbed power and he didn't, you know, legalize that process. So it is very unfortunate. Zimbabwe will, will, is open for business. Zimbabwe will go ahead. And uh, this process, I'm very confident that it will, uh, people will come down. They will, you know, they will, you know, they will accept the results. But and then we move forward. But it, definitely it's very unfortunate. People died and people shouldn't have died. And the army should learn from that process that you don't just shoot people and kill people, that's not something that we're proud of. Mr. Matonga, it's surely very, it is worse than unfortunate. It's a good thing, we, it's a learning curve. Surely this is worse than unfortunate because when this election die, was the one that was supposed to allow when people die, Zimbabwe when people, to move on and to escape sanctions and to be accepted by the international community. And this election is now suspicious and nothing will be this, unlocked by this. This, the, the elections in Zimbabwe are never an issue of the international community about Zimbabweans. We have elections every five years. And it's our responsibility. We have to sit down. Uh, both the, um, the president has to reach out to the opposition, to all Zimbabweans, and build a new Zimbabwe. Obviously, there are emotions whenever there are elections. The MDC have been denying uh, the will of the people in every election. It's something that, you, you know, we all know that they say, if it's not an MDC win, it's not a win. And, you know, they are bad losers. They have to learn from this process. They have to sit down and see where they went wrong. And they miscalculated the mood of Zimbabwe. Um, they should be talking about rebuilding this country, creating employment, health, education, and engagement, you know, with the international community. But right. this was a pre-planned thing. Because we invited the whole world to come to Zimbabwe and witness our elections. Brian How Matonga? come there was no violence when we were campaigning? How come there was jubilation? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much indeed for joining us tonight.